Today I want to do a presentation on Kedraw. Kedraw is an open source Python framework for creating reproducible, maintainable, and modular data science code. It borrows concepts from software engineering best practices and applies them to machine learning code. Applied concepts include modularity, separation of concerns, and versioning. In this particular video, I'll mainly follow the get started section where I'm going to show you how to install Kedraw and how to create your first projects with Kedraw. In the following sections, I'm also going to review the Kedraw Space Flights tutorial so that you can get a deeper knowledge of the Kedraw project. Let's get started. First off, I created a Kedro sandbox environment and I'm going to install the requirements for this particular tutorial. So now we will install Kedro. To do this, we simply use the command pip install Kedro. We'll have to wait for a few minutes until the package is being installed. Now we're done. So let's look at the hello world example. So Kedro has several concepts, a node, a pipeline, a data catalog, and a runner. The node is a Kedro concept. It's a wrapper for a Python function that names the inputs and outputs of that function. It is a, the building block of the pipeline. Nodes can be linked when the output of a node is the input of another node. Here, return greeting. The return greeting function is wrapped by a node called return greeting node, which has no inputs and names a single output, my salutation. So let's try creating a script for this. Hello. Py. And let's copy this section. So from Kedro pipeline, we import the node. We define our function. And then we instantiate our initial node. And we pass the function, return greeting. The inputs will be none and the outputs will be my salutation. The join statements function is wrapped by a node called join statements node, which names a single input my salutation and a single output my message. So we have this function, let's copy paste it. And we define the second node over here. So we have our two functions. In the second function, we have an input greeting, and this is the returned output. 
and when we define our node we call our input my salutation which matches the my salutation output from our previous node and our output for this second node is my message as said in docu the documentation note that my salutation is the output of return greeting node and also the input of join statements node. Now the second concept in Kedro that we'll cover is the pipeline. So a pipeline organizes the dependencies and the execution order of a collection of nodes and connects inputs and outputs while keeping your code modular. The pipeline determines the node execution order by resolving dependencies and does not necessarily run the nodes in order in which they are passed in. In this example, the pipeline executes return greeting node before it executes the train statements node. So here is our import from Kedro pipeline, import pipeline. Let's put it down here. And Now let's define our pipeline. And now our third concept, the data catalog. A data catalog is a Kendro crown concept. It's the registry of all data sources that the project can use. It maps the names of node inputs and outputs as keys in a data set which is a Kedro class that can be specialized for different types of data storage. Kedro uses memory data set for data that is simply stored in memory. All right, so let's import our data catalog and our memory data set. And also let's prepare a data catalog. Kedro provides a number of built-in data sets for different file types, file systems, so you don't have to write the logic for reading and writing data. Let's have a short look at this. So Kedro Extras data set is where you can find all the Kedro data connectors. These data connectors are implementations of abstraction, abstract data set. So you have an API data set, bioscience, task, email, message data set, GeoJSON, Hall of Views, JSON data set, Matpool Tree Writer, Network X, CSV, Excel. So quite a lot of connectors, SQL, Totally, Spark, YAML. So there are quite a few connectors over here. Um, unfortunately, we will not cover them in this particular video, but uh, we're gonna have a look in uh, future videos within our series regarding Ketro. So now let's look at the fourth concept uh, in this tutorial, uh, the runner. So the runner is an object that runs the pipeline. Kedro resolves the order in which the nodes are executed. So Kedro will first execute return greeting node. This runs the return greeting function, which takes no input but outputs the string hello. The output of the output string is stored in memory dataset named salutation. Kedro then executes the second node, train statements node. This loads my salutation dataset and injects it into join statements function. The function joins the input salutation with Kedro to form the output string hello Kedro. The output of the pipeline is returned in a dictionary with the key my message. Right, so let's see. So this is this is the final final script is not time to stitch together code all right so these are all the p 
pieces. Okay, so we have uh, the part that is missing actually here is the sequential run. And we have to run it. Now let's run this function. All right, let's run our code. Mm, sequential runner not defined. Oh yeah, I also have to import the sequential runner. We have it over here. Instantiate it. So hopefully now it will work. Yes, so the final message is my message, hello Kedro, as we have in the documentation. So right, this was our hello world example using uh, Kedro. In the next tutorial, we're gonna dig deeper into the capabilities of Kedro, but uh, hopefully this was useful. Thank you very much.